Hi, I'm Steve and I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 2002 Outback. Uh, this is a 25 RSS model. Um, this trailer weighs 4,800 pounds and uh, I, I would say basically it's in great condition. Uh, mechanically, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, there's no leaks or anything inside of it. It looks good that way. And the tires were replaced in uh, 2006. So it's had a, uh, the original tires have been replaced. So let's walk around it. There's just a couple little condition issues that you need to know about that. But other than that, everything works on the trailer. Um, just a little bit of, uh, this is like a chrome strip that someone added and it's kind of getting corroded. But you do have an outdoor range, which is really cool, so you can cook outside. Oh, I also want to make note of the awning. Um, we checked the awning, it, it works fine, but there are some holes in the top of the fabric. So uh, if you want to put a new piece of fabric on, it's probably about five, six hundred dollars. Otherwise, if you want to use it as is, you could put some awning tape on it. It, it would work that way just fine. So the trailer overall looks in good shape. All the slide outs work. We've checked them all. Uh, we tested the brakes and the lights. So everything looks nice. Um, other than just the caulk and stuff being dirty, really the trailer looks in good shape. It doesn't look like it has any damage. Got a nice big water heater here. And this is an electronic ignition model. So that's really convenient, it means you don't have to come out here and light it yourself. Uh, this is where you connect your 110 volt cord and then this is where you uh, fill the fresh water tank. And again, we've tested all the water systems, electrical system, everything works good. And there's just some storage here. This slide out, along with the back slide out, is manual. So nice and simple, nothing to break, real easy to put them in and out. This is where the holding tank drain is. And this is an outside shower, so behind here you've got hot and cold water. And this is just a little access door to the front, either storage or bunks, but basically this bunk folds up out of the way, so you could put a, uh, you gotta take the mattress out, but so you can put a, uh, a bike or, or any large item in there and you can lock this door. Uh, real nice feature is this comes with an electric tongue jack so it takes some of the work out of setup or, or hitching and unhitching. And then something that I know everyone's going to be very thankful that this trailer has is the weight distribution hitch. So it all comes with it. Um, so that should be nice to not have to buy that. All right, let's head inside. All right, I'm at the back of the trailer and this is a slide out queen bed. Uh, again, we've tested all the mechanisms here. They slide out nice and easy and I don't see any signs of leakage or anything around it. Um, also this dinette makes to a bed and it's also a nice eating area. Got a sofa here that makes to a bed. And you've got a real nice big kitchen, and two sink covers, double sink, nice range. This RV comes with an oven, and you have to bring your own microwave. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but right here on the data tag, it says that the RV weighs 4,800 pounds. It's about 25 feet long. All right, just looking in the fridge, it's all nice and clean. And this is the bathroom. The RV has been winterized, the toilet's nice and clean. Again, the whole water systems work, so it's all been tested. And uh, one thing I like to look at in these used RVs is the shower. And look back here, this all looks to be in good shape, no signs of mold or mildew. This comes with a full tub surround, so um, it's a good shower. 
Oh, and then we got to uh, show everybody the bunks. Okay, so upper and lower single bunks. And again, this is the area that lifts up with your trap door right there. So overall, this trailer should sleep eight people. Um, we've checked all the mechanicals out. It worked real good. So whoever wins this, uh, oh, by the way, this is going to be a no reserve auction. So whoever wins, it's